but the subject always interested me but i my work ethic was not there but i think because i met the right people at the right time i met a really good professor welcome welcome achindra to the yorkit connect series i would like to begin this interview asking you about your background uh so i did my uh, mechanical engineering um Well, my undergrad was in mechanical engineering in Vellore Institute of Technology in Vellore, and this was from 2015 to 2019. I did not work after my undergrad. I came here for my uh, master's, master of science in mechanical engineering. That was from 2019 to 2021 summer. So I graduated in the summer of last year, and right after my graduation, I started in the next in 2021 fall. I started my PhD in uh, the materials engineering specialization. in the civil engineering department and both my masters and right now my phd are in texas m at college station so can you recall which were the, the universities that you applied to uh yeah i think i apl- i don't know if i remember all of them uh, i think i got to cmu texas m purdue penn state uh university of colorado at boulder then um uh university of minnesota twin cities um uh, university of florida Uh, University of Pittsburgh and Arizona State University. I applied to ten. Yeah. yeah. So was PhD always the plan, or this is something that you decided after you completed your masters? I knew that I've always uh, been interested in academics, but uh, I think the the motivation to do a PhD solidified once I came here, because to be very honest, my uh, work ethic uh, during my undergrad was not great, and uh, after coming here, I. I used to study more often, but the subjects always interested me. But I, my work ethic was not there. But I think because I met the right people at the right time, I met really good professors. And more than just meeting good professors, I met a very had a very good, still have a very good ecosystem of professors. So there are two to three professors who collaborate with each other, and they know each other very well. And because of that, you just get inspired when you're with the right people. You just get inspired to do. Uh, the kind of work that they want, that they do. I want to take you to uh, back in 2019, and want to understand that the day when you landed in the US, what was that day like? Which was the biggest cultural shock for you after you landed in the US? I actually didn't come to college station right away. My sister stays here, uh, so she was yeah, so she was working uh, here, and she still is working here. And I went to Jersey City uh, in New Jersey uh, for the first four days. Of my stay at the US, and then I came to College Station. So those first four days uh, were—I mean, I didn't feel anything those first four days because I just came here and I just met my sister. I didn't even go see the city of New York. I still haven't seen the city of New York. My sister asked me to go with her, but uh, I don't go out very often, so that was that didn't happen. And then I came to College Station, and the first thing I realized, which is very different from India, is people are very. Are extremely polite here, like openly polite, <laughs> the way they speak in during daily interactions, and a lot of us were not used to uh, from India. We're not used to that level of politeness for every day, every single daily. So, I mean, that's what I noticed the first time I came here. Uh, I want to understand now that uh, what were the requirements for the university's admission? Uh, your GI score. The, the 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 TOEFL. So can you recall what were the what were the criteria like and what were your individual scores? Uh yeah, I remember my GRE score. It was I think uh, I remember the overall was three twenty. Uh, uh yeah, and I was very worried because my uh, uh during my my mock was the perfect score because I got like a one sixty three in uh quant and the and the and the verbal was whatever uh. The, 157 i think to get a 320 my mock score was also 320 but in the actual test they sort of flipped i got more in verbal than quant and that worried me a bit because i got 161 in verbal and 159 in quant which is it didn't make sense but i think that was because uh, i got more stats questions and i was taking more time and that just messed me up so uh, but both were 320 and yeah that's what happened with my gi Now I just want to understand. Moving out from the university part now, I want to understand how is life over there as an Indian student. So how have your experiences been? It is, it is easier when you're away from uh, family and everything else to focus on what you came here to do. 
that is one thing i've noticed um yeah you're you're away from things so you can forget about whatever you were before you came um or like try to get away from all your own bad habits in terms of work whatever you might have had and to, it's not that you can't do it in india but it's it's easier that you're away from the place where you were not what you want uh you mentioned that you completed your masters first and then you went for a phd course so does yeah. that impact uh, the opt period that you get over there oh, okay i'm not sure because i didn't actually work too hard to apply jobs i just kept doing uh, research work and studying so i'm not sure what happens with i think i lost my uh, masters opt like i can't because i'm not in my masters right now right so i didn't use that OPT. so now whatever opt i have will be from my phd program so yeah it's going to be like that but my thought process has always been like this because i knew that i would be interested only in uh, research roles and those roles i get in uh, research labs and for that uh, first of all for the kind of job description i'm looking for i need to do a phd i mean it's not that i'm doing a PhD just because of that I, i honestly need to learn more so it's that and also um, it's you need to know Uh, professors who who get funding from these labs, uh, who do good research work, and who collaborate with a lot of others. So, yeah. So I didn't really apply for that many jobs. I just uh, during the summer when most people do their internship, uh, I actually did a directed studies course with my mentor, and it was just two of us. We just called him and asked him to give us anything, and we would study with him. And he said, "Okay, let's do a directed study." was on uh, linearized viscous elasticity and something okay? <laughs> and that is what i'm working on right now in my phd and uh, that and i took three research credits so i worked i mean i studied during the uh, some uh, that's great athendra that brings me to the last question that i wanted to ask what were your top 3 learnings in this entire journey till now or any top 3 mistakes that you would want others to avoid i think my answers here um, would be to do with uh, Like they would help someone who wants to get into either academia or into a research role. I think it would help them more than people who want to get into industry. I would say before coming, uh, do read up on your math uh, because if you um, if you spend more time doing the math, then you can spend less time learning the math and spend more time over here applying. Uh, so. and the uh, i mean it, there are a lot of things to blame for this but uh, let's not go into the reasons but uh, in undergrad the way we do our math in most universities is just, uh, it's not very well done and it's not the fault of the universities i mean there's a lot of factors to consider uh, but it's it's good to read up on your math try to do more like whatever field you are in when once you get into the field of research it is in the end it is math so because you need to quantify so you need to figure out what um what sub disciplines in math you need to learn before coming here and just start it doesn't mean you have to finish things because you're coming here to study but just looking at things once or twice will make your mind familiarized with the materials and then you can come here and uh, you'll at least feel a little better So a lot of my seniors who are from the IT who were here before me uh, told me to do things which I didn't do, <laughs> and I came here, and uh, it was it was hard. The first semester was hard, but it's fine. I mean, it's fine even if you don't do these things, but it's good if you can uh, get some math done before.